Are you feeling that your spiritual calling isn't being fully understood or appreciated by your spouse? Do you feel isolated and unsupported in your journey towards personal and spiritual growth? If your answer is yes, then this episode was made for you. In this episode, I'm going to discuss how to navigate this sensitive terrain, how to manage these feelings of disconnect and bring your relationship into alignment with your calling. I'm going to briefly explore three strategies inspired by Christian principles and scripture that can provide both practical and spiritual solutions to this issue. Before I dive into the three strategies for managing spousal non-support, in your Christian journey, please click that like button and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the tips that I release each week. Point number one is seek understanding and communication. First and foremost, the key to any successful relationship is understanding and communication. Matthew 7, 7 and 8 says, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened for you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, it will be open. Applying this wisdom to your situation, it's important to have an open and honest conversation with your spouse. Seek to understand their point of view. Why don't they seem supportive? Is there a misunderstanding or confusion about your calling? These are questions that communicating and seeking to understand you can learn about your spouse. Point number two foster spiritual growth together. It's stated in Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 12, two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. To bring your spouse along your journey, you could share your experiences. You can invite them to participate in your practices and your spiritual practices, or even discuss your understandings of scripture. Just make, make it a shared journey rather than a solo expedition. Point number three is practice patience and love. This third strategy comes from 1 Corinthians 13, four through seven. Love is patient, love is kind. Practicing patience and love is crucial when navigating spousal non-support. Your spouse may need time to understand and appreciate your calling. Remember that everyone's spiritual journey is personal and unique. Instead of fostering resentment or anger, try to practice patience, understanding, and demonstrate your love in action. Remember, fulfilling your calling doesn't mean that you need to alienate the people that you love. Your journey can actually become a means to deepen your relationship when approached with understanding, shared spiritual growth, patience, and love. I encourage you to apply these strategies in your life and see the transformation that they can bring. If you're struggling with managing spousal non-support and you feel like you could use a battle buddy, I wanna invite you to click the link in the description to find out more about coaching with me. In the comments below, tell me if you found this episode helpful or have any additional insights on the topic. I really love it when I hear from you and I really would like to hear from you. And I want you to know that your input may help others too. I invite you to join the Elevators Inbox for some helpful tips, tools, and resources, plus some personal updates on my life sent to your inbox each week. I promise I won't spam you and you can unsubscribe at any time. And if you would like to join the Elevators Inbox, go to brianrobinsoncoaching.com, put in your first name and email address. And finally, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Thank you for tuning in. This is Coach Brian. <laughs>